There's a new Batman that came out recently, but this Batman is called The Batman, which I guess makes it new. This is the 14th Batman movie, and it continues to bring in the crowds. This version made $710.5 million. <laughs> we know the story of Batman. Why do we want more Batman movies? Batman is moody, and it's all high drama. We know the story, yes, but we like to see how this version creates the Batcave, how it crafts the Batmobile, how Jeffrey puts his gizmos to work, and most impactfully, how the tragic Bruce Wayne chooses to suppress his emotions until they inevitably come bubbling up to the top. Bruce, do the work. Hire a therapist. <laughs> in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., we see Spanish Baroque artist Giuseppe Ribera reinvent a story that was familiar to his audience. This painting is the martyrdom of St. Bartholomew. A story of Christ's holy apostle who was flayed, meaning skinned alive. In the painted figure of St. Bartholomew, we see an artist who has learned to paint anatomy properly and executed it here. Ribera has learned from his Renaissance forefathers how to create bone and sinew, and his ability to show believable 3D space is also pleasing to our eyes. But this is no Renaissance painter. Ribera's mission is to use the techniques of the Renaissance and activate them. The background is simplified and the stark contrasting spotlight in the foreground, known as tenebrism, shines on St. Bartholomew from above. Not only is there perspectival space, but Ribera foreshortens the martyr's elbow, bringing him very close to our viewing space. The strong diagonal line of St. Bartholomew's bound arm through his shoulder is dynamic. There's a sense of action and drama. The figures themselves are not perfected biblical characters from the past, like they would show in the Renaissance. They are wrinkled, dirty. They're people we may see on the street. This painting captures the moment of maximum drama, of psychological impact. 17th century viewers were already acquainted of the story, like we said. In the story, St. Bartholomew was bound and sentenced to death because of his adamant forsaking of graven images while preaching in foreign lands. Here, St. Bartholomew seems caught in a vision, apart from the bustle that is happening in the background, and the executioner pauses, marking the religious transcendence that he sees recognizing the saint's courage to choose the divine over the self. In the painting, we see this man tasked with torture, wielding a knife and whetstone held in the form of a cross to add even more symbolism. Ribera is asking us all to contemplate something. You know what St. Bartholomew chose, he says. You know how it all ended. He was indeed flayed alive. So what would you choose? This question was particularly in the minds of those during this time in history. There was a fracture because of the Protestant Reformation that was felt throughout Europe and no more keenly than Spain as their 16th century golden age was dwindling rapidly. After the Northerners began whitewashing cathedrals and destroying devotional objects and rebellion to the Catholic Church's focus on things, Spain sent troops to retaliate, and this conflict between the North and South surged into a 30 years war. Ultimately, the Catholic Church conceded, and Spain let go of control of this Northern region. Europe became divided into a Protestant North in Catholic South, more or less. In response to this Protestant fracture, Catholic leadership launched the Counter-Reformation in Rome. This was a movement to clarify what it meant to be Catholic after the Protestant Reformation. First, church leadership held the Council of Trent, and this was a meeting to decide on the identity as a church. They agreed that visual objects were still an important part of worship, but rather than allowing for any art that became more and more confusing, the church fathers tagged on some strict criteria. 
The art was to be about a clear subject matter regarding saints or biblical figures. They wanted to show conversion and drama. Caravaggio's paintings gave a formula for this that was copied all throughout Europe. Ribera was one who was directly inspired by this Italian painter. And the Spanish translation in St. Bartholomew is austere, darker, more violent, more severe. A church soul seeking in this moment is asking, what are the values we cling to when everything is on the line? St. Bartholomew looks beyond the circumstance and shows his integrity standing by his virtues. And we are left to consider, what will we do?